let me get out of the way for Mr. Joshua Walters. I used to have payas, little Jewish curls springing from my forelocks. They were fantastic and asymmetrical. Payas. Some said I looked Amish. Some said I looked goatish. But it didn't matter. I was on a spiritual quest and a religious journey. <laughs> One year I cut off the curls and joined a Buddhist monastery. The monastery was located in the Trinity Alps, way up in the most northern reaches of Northern California. <laughs> when I got there, the HLIC head llama in charge was a fat white guy with a big belly and a ponytail and greasy lips named Llama Carnivorous. When I first got there, he was having a potluck at his house where they were serving pork spare ribs. This was not the custom where I came from. So I enjoyed it even more. Lama. This is Buddhism? Joshua, not every llama has potlucks like this. <laughs> Don't get used to it. Llama, you see that girl? What's her name? <laughs> that is the girl that made these delicious ribs. So delicious, llama. Yes, Joshua. Lama, this too is Buddhism? Yes, Joshua. <laughs> Her name was Mia, and she drove around in a dusty old car listening to 10-year-old dance hall she worked in the kitchen, serving up all sorts of piggish delights. I worked outside, painting the stupas, red and gold. Eight statues representing the eight stages of the Buddha's life. I was out there every afternoon, painting away. I had the best job there. And then, Lama Carnivorous left to have triple bypass surgery. Overdose of lard. <laughs> the new head llama in charge was a skinny white guy who wore tank tops and rode around on a bicycle named Llama Tofu Patty. <laughs> this llama's first order of business was that there would be no more pork. Instead, we would only have one vegetarian lunch per day. We sat across from each other at the lunch table. Long stairs over lima beans. I said to the lunch crowd, you know, when I first got here, I saw two naked Buddhas getting out of the, of the, of the lagoon. And I, I, I thought to myself, oh, this is Buddhism. <laughs> Mia laughed. Tofu Patty remained perfectly calm. The hatred 
was potent. The next day I was painting up the stupas and Lama Patty approached me and said, you know, Joshua, you were assigned these stupas when Lama Conibris was here, and now that I am here, you shall now polish these brass bowls. This was quite a demotion, but I did it. Just as long as I got to have my swims every afternoon in the lagoon with Mia and a lot of large minnows. We swam one afternoon, and after we dried off, she said, you know, that Lama Tofu Patty had approached her on his bicycle and said, stay away from that, Joshua. His vision is unpure. The next day, I was polishing those brass bowls, and Lama Tofu Patty approached me. and said, Joshua, you shall no longer polish these brass bowls. Now, you shall mop up the kitchen floor. This is the lowest job there, but I did it. Just as long as I got to have my swims every afternoon with Mia in the lagoon. And one day I was mopping up the floor and my vision became slanted. I didn't know if I was mopping clean or dirty anymore. I couldn't really see what I was doing to the floor. And then I had to meet Mia out in the lagoon and I ran down 15, 20 minutes late and there she was looking like a fantasy with a, a life preserver and I had to come back to do my chores because the floor wasn't mopped and I had to mop it all up and I thought this is not the way to live my life and I put the broom down and I went into the refrigerator and I saw that she had left me lima beans in a little container with my name on it but then I realized that next to it was another little container with Tofu Patty's name on it, and it had a pulled pork sandwich. <laughs> oh no. No! The next day, Lama Tofu Patty approached me and said, You know, Joshua, your stupid painting, your bowl polishing, and your kitchen mopping, you know, they're not good enough. Now you will stop right there, I said. I see what you're doing. Maybe I'm not meant to be here. Maybe we both need something different. I said my goodbyes to Mia and got in the car and drove all the way down to the more centrally located part of Northern California. <laughs> and as I crossed over that Golden Gate Bridge, the bridge started to lick my car and I was having a religious vision and I looked at the sky and a red and gold Buddha flew down from the sky riding a pig the size of a horse and he flew down and he unfurled his hands and inside his palms were two Jewish girls And then the Buddhist pig looked at me and said, Joshua, when you're on a spiritual quest, stay true to yourself. And for my sake, keep it kosher. Joshua Walter. Yeah.